please read this disclaimer carefully before proceeding further. Welcome traders to this week's analysis of dollar index DXY. My name is Vic. Thanks for joining me here. What a week it has been for dollar. Uh, dollar created this parabolic move and reached our FCP zone. Now, if you have been following my analysis for some time, you know that you know this was this FCP zone was predicted exactly on Jan 6, 2021. So it has taken one year to reach our uh, analysis, like you know, complete our analysis and hit all all of our bullish targets here. So against all the news fundamentals nfps and whatnot like you know it has simply followed the analysis which uh, we have been like you know using for our own trading so let me actually tell you what has been happening because a lot of you uh, have not actually gone through my previous analysis and it is always good to like you know revise or re revisit the high time frame so let's we'll come back to this and we'll see like you know what we can expect in coming days or next week uh, but let's see what had has been happening so i'm going to look at this blank chart here and i'm on three month time frame here so each candle is worth three months why am i looking at three month candle here uh, why am i looking at higher time frame i'm looking at higher time frame because whatever dollar has been doing irrespective of inflation or interest rates or whatever it is it has been simply following the higher time frame plan simple as simple as that and this is what this is how we were able to make this prediction of the dollar reaching where it is right now so let me tell you what what it has been happening so i'm looking at multi-year multi-decade sort of like you know scenario here so this is a w pattern here okay now this w pattern actually does not complete here it actually completes somewhere around here okay so what has been happening here now what i will do is simply take my fib tool and draw from top to bottom like this uh, let me be as accurate as possible. Okay, so when I do something like this, what you can see, this is 61.8 Fib level. So what the market has been doing is hitting the 61.8, okay, fell down. This is not the Corona one. This is even before that. This is like, you know, 2016 or 2017 um, fall. Then market went up. This is the Corona candle here, COVID-19 candle. The market fell down. And now it has been going up. So as you can see, simply, it has been following the previous structure level. Or you can also say that, you know, this is running inside a channel. So this is a channel which has been running. Now, when the market starts to, when market is running inside a channel, it usually bounces from the bottom of the channel and goes towards the high of the channel, right, in towards the top of the channel. Um, at the mid of the channel, it takes a little bit of break. And if the market finds momentum to the downside, then it falls down. If it finds momentum to the upside, it starts to go up. So right now, this is this has crossed the mid of the channel. So what you can expect is that you know after, after obviously like you know it, after like you know up and down, up and down, it it can still rise to the top of this channel. And if this channel is broken then we are looking for this 78.6 Fibonacci level here. Why? Because we have this previous structure here, we have 78.6, and that will complete this W pattern. So this W pattern completes somewhere around 110, or even like, you know, it, in extreme case, it can go to 113. But it all depends on, like, you know, in coming years, maybe like, you know, one or two years, how it actually behaves inside this channel, which is right now where we are, okay? So market has, created this particular weak sort of structure and people who have gone through the fcb training they know that you know there is nothing called v everything is a w or m pattern so we have a w pattern inside this okay and this is the same w pattern which we identified long time ago here so that's the w pattern here according to our fcp analysis we were able to identify this in much in advance and that's why we were able to predict that dollar was going to come back to this fcp zone okay it's it's very very simple all you have to do is just know how these patterns actually work like you know there are certain conditions behind them and certain numbers behind them they are very easy to find out okay so what has been happening market came to this fcp zone here this particular FCP zone actually, um, and then fell down. Why this has been actually doing this around here? Because this is the mid of the channel, right? So around the mid of the channel, the market was supposed to go down and create like, you know, have some kind of resistance, feel some sort of, sort of resistance. It tried again, fell down. That was a fake move. And here 
in our telegram group and other places i mentioned that you know the market could be like you know, as long as this fcp zone as long as this fcp zone was protected and as long as these trend lines were protected the market could be heading into another parabolic move and that's exactly how the market has done and it has gone to in this fcp zone now this fcp zone because we, we are here in fcp zone we can expect market to either consolidate or fall back a little bit it can take a little bit of correction however just by looking at we are looking at weekly time frame just by looking at this particular candle which is the weekly time frame candle this is looking like a very strong candle so this uh, next week you can expect more momentum to the upside because this this previous momentum can still continue there can be residual momentum to the upside okay and once it has reached certain areas like you know this particular F, um, fibonacci level or some of the structure levels inside here then it will start to like you know start to fall down a little bit so we are expecting a downward move but only after a little bit of upward move so that's that's what uh, we can uh, like you know expect and if i go to the daily time frame on daily time frame this has left a very good gap here so ultimately this gap is going to get filled now dollar has been leaving a lot of gaps there is one here i will will look into that when we go into what and we search uh, on mt4 um, but dollar never leaves any kinds of gaps open so ultimately at some point in time dollar is going to fall and it is going to close all of these gaps now when is that going to happen that may take years um, because uh, there was one gap on euro usd which took near about three years to complete uh, to fill so you never know when these guys when these gaps are going to get filled but because this one is very close to us so it's quite possible that you know during the fall it can close this gap or most probably it can come back down to this fcp zone as well and close this gap as well so these can be like you know expected um now because dollar is slightly um overextended so that's why we can expect this but there is very important thing which is also happening on dollar and that is it's getting very close to psychological level of 100 okay now last time when it came to 100 right it 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 was around here so it went above 100 and immediately came back down so that's a fake move at the same time that was a covid 19 one and it tried again it got stuck into 100 level here right into tried few times and ultimately it fell down so ultimately if the market comes into 100 there can be a sell off from there as well so what can we do remember the next week can be a little bit of residual bullish movement and then after that we are looking for short moves into dollar okay and if the market gives us momentum and confirmation above this fcp zone only above this fcp zone then we can look into the next target which is going to be around 100 maybe less than 100 slightly less than 100 at the at first and then go to 100 if 100 is also broken then we are looking for 102 and if that is also broken then we'll have to reanalyze we know we have few structures around here but we'll have to reanalyze because that will be completely change of the structure here so this is what we have here um, in terms of fcp analysis let's look at it on um what and research if you have what and research this is how you're going to read this now this is turning bullish again we are looking at weekly time frame this is turning bullish again and this target is still open you see there is still little room to left so what i'm expecting next week is like you know market can actually go slightly higher up touch this target and then come back down okay so that is quite a possibility what is also uh, suggesting that this gap has been filled as i said like you know and uh, dollar never leaves any kinds of gaps open so ultimately after all of these months it has come back to uh, like you know close this gap here okay but in the process it has left several gaps at the bottom here um I'll, I'll show you that in a second as well so let's go to the monthly time frame first sorry uh daily time frame first on daily time frame we don't have any uh, upward target available here that means like you know it is kind of getting overstretched so there can be a little bit of movement upwards and then fall back down let's go to the four hour time frame and this is these are all the gaps which are available here so this is four hour gap here and we have this gap available here at 96 so we have gap at 97.78785 i'll post these charts at the bottom of this video uh, in the description you should check that out and i'll post these charts in um, in our discord room sorry in the telegram group as well so um, you can you can have a look at them now 
if I show you all the gaps which have been left by dollar at the bottom, so there is one around here. Uh, let me actually put a line here. So there's one around 93.49. That's also there. So ultimately, at some point in time, dollar is going to come back down. After how many years, how many months, that nobody is sure of. This is 92. There is a gap at 92, unfilled gap at 92. And I think there was around 90 as well. Um, if I find that, I'll post that in there. But the lowest one that I can see right now is 92 here. Um, there is one here, which is um, 93.494. And then we have all of these gaps, which are already available. So remember, the next next week, they can be a little bit of upward move and then fall back down. This is getting bullish. So ultimately, on the weekly time frame, also this is bullish as of yet, right? And um, let's let's take this opportunity to actually go through some of the forex peers as well, because some of you have actually um, been requesting. So on Euro USD, this is what I've been talking to our FCP students. Like you know, there was a gap here, right at this level. And this, and Euro has now filled it last year. So you see, it has taken all this time to come back and fill that gap up, right? You know, this gap has been filled. And in the process, it has been able to reach this white dot, which is the water and visage target. And this water and visage target is still available. So I'm expecting Euro USD to fall a little bit and then go back up. Um, there is a gap left here around, um, let me actually put a line here. So... This is going to be around 1.124 um, 1 level. There is a gap there. Now, in case Euro starts to fall, continues to fall, because why I'm saying that? Because there is an M pattern. Now, M pattern is completing right where the water dot is, water and research dot is, where the target is. So after that, it is expected to rise up. Okay, and if euro is going to go up, then DXY is going to fall down, or vice versa. But in case the market continues to fall, then it is going to reach this white dot, which is the next water target here, and that is as 1.03325. Now, because we are looking at weekly time frame, it can take weeks or months. Remember that everything is relative. So if you're looking at weekly time frame, it will take weeks, at least one week. OK, um, and if I go to the daily time frame on daily time frame, this is the gap which I was just talking about. Like, you know, this is unfilled gap which has been left there. Now, ultimately, this is going to get filled. OK, now let's go and look at it. Look at uh, GBP USC for a second. OK. Um, Okay, so GBP USD, right? On GBP USD, let's go to the weekly time frame first. On weekly time frame, we can see that you know the market has turned bearish because we have red color here, and we have red signal here as well. And what a curve is also red, which means that market is bearish, and it is moving towards this possible target here. Like you know, this target is going to be approximately 1.1.30. 40 approximately there um, that's where it can come to um, on weekly time frame if i go to the daily let's remove that on daily time frame um, that's also one of the water envisage targets but on daily time frame this is possible which is 1.31464 that's a possibility so i'm expecting market to next week fall down come to this water um, what envisage um, target and then go back up pretty much like you know how euro usd is doing uh, why because we have this m pattern here and when m pattern completes the market goes up so you see the dollar is supposed to go higher a little bit and then fall back down euro usd is supposed to fall down a little bit and then go up gbp usd is supposed to fall down a little bit and then go back up right so everything kinds of like like you know lines up now let's look at uh, look at um uh, USD CAD, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Okay, USD CAD is looking little confusing at the moment here on daily time frame, but let's look at it on other time frames. Okay, now these these targets, uh, I think I posted them before. Okay, right. So on weekly time, frame, oh sorry, on monthly time frame, this is simply consolidating at the moment, right? Ultimately, it can reach this target. 
on monthly time frame uh, it has already touched the water curve which is one of the targets so on monthly time frame there is not much of a clear direction at the moment it's simply consolidating if i go to the weekly time frame on weekly time frame it is about to get bullish now you see the water curve has been red that means it higher time frame trend is down now it is turning blue which means that usd cad can turn bullish now and as soon as we get blue color here we should start favoring our long positions on usd cad on weekly time frame okay if the weekly is bullish that means the daily four hour all nearly all time frames will start to like you know give us better bull targets here Sim this is simply consolidation this is looking like a very bad price action here the market went up, uh, collected all the stop losses, hit these water targets here, and then fell back down. So right now, on on daily time frame, this is looking like a bearish one because we have water curve as red. This is also red, and the stop loss has been collected to the upside, and the structure has been broken to the downside, which means the market is expected to fall. And if the market starts to fall, then we can expect it to reach one of these profit targets, which is going to be approximately. 1.25491 and then this is a little lower than that 1.25429 so that is quite a possibility but because this market is looking very uh, messy at the moment here um, you should be careful but let me show you the structure why i was just talking about just to clarify so this is the channel the market went up okay completed this w pattern here come test uh, like you know um, reach these targets because the w pattern was complete it fell down and now because it fell down it broke the structure here which means that market completed an m pattern and when an m pattern is completed it goes up but now it can come back down to create another complex m pattern here so this is how we read in our fcp methodology it's quite simple if you know how to draw impulses and corrections okay so this is what we have on usd cad um anything else left um let's look at AUD USD. maybe um not sure whether it is there because i don't actually trade a usd a d usd um myself Okay, AUD USD looks like it has been able to reach its profit target here very nicely here. Uh, these all of these profit targets have already been reached. Okay, um, because this is blue, which means bullish, blue bullish, and these are the targets here. Okay, on daily time frame, it has reached the target. Now we have a W pattern forming on AUD USD, and when W pattern completes, the market goes down. But has it completed yet? Let me quickly draw fib on it and then show you what it should look, look like. So this is 50% right now. So right now, the market can actually come back down a little bit. Why? Because it has reached the profit target and there is a FIB level here. But I'm expecting AUD USD to continue to rise up uh, because we are bullish and we are bullish. So ultimately it is going to expect, we can expect it to go near about this level here which is 0 0.74340 near about that level um that's on daily time frame however we should have checked the weekly first yes on the weekly time frame um let me show you what i mean so on weekly time frame also we have this uh, target available but because on weekly we are right there in water curve right you know it has touched the water curve now water curve access resistance as well so we can expect a downward move here but if the market continues to stay bullish, then we can reach this target easily, which is 74340. Okay. So this is overall analysis of dollar index and a few forex pairs. If you enjoyed this analysis, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share it with other traders and trading communities. And uh, trade well and uh, have a great time. If you are interested in learning how to analyze the markets the way I do using Fibonacci Confluence, then head over to Vikinsa.com and under training section, you'll be able to see core strategy training program. On this page, you'll be able to see the testimonials of previous students and also uh, look at the brochure. The brochure has a lot more information, including the course structure and the Fibonacci Confluence training program curriculum. This is a very extensive program in which we cover basic core Fibonacci concepts along with the advanced concepts to analyze the markets with high probability. If you're interested in joining this program, come to vacancer.com and under training section, you'll be able to see and submit this form.